Need something, Shepard? That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. So, Sarah, how about your buddy? The one who joined Cerberus? You heard from him? No, I cut ties. Reported him, for whatever good that did. No way I want that crap on my record. You know, my lab studied the Rachni. Long distance communication with no time lag, the ability to control workers, and at close range, the Queen can even speak through dead or dying members of other species. Glad they're on our side. If we can develop instant long range communication without quantum entanglement, maybe when this war is over. Commander? Here's another one. Uh, dates back to the Rachni Wars. So a Krogan and a Salarian have landed on a Rachni world for a top secret mission. That is unlikely. Salarians rarely took part in raids on Rachni occupied worlds directly. <sighs> Missing the point. So the two guys are climbing up a hill going through this nasty green fog. And as they get near the top, they come out of the fog and the Salarian sees thousands of Rachni. He looks over at the Krogan and says, Oh, well, that makes me nervous. The Krogan says, you think that's scary? When this is over, I have to go back down through that fog by myself. The implication being that the Salarian soldier would be dead. Yes. Thank you for killing the 2,000-year-old joke. That joke plays to racial stereotypes on both sides. The Krogan appears brutish and insensitive, while the Salarian appears weak. Stereotypes such as exemplified here led to the development and use of the genophage. Well, well, yeah. It's also one of the only jokes you'll hear both Salarians and Krogan telling. Comedy isn't really about being nice. Sometimes it's a way to air out the ugly things people think. How's Grunt? Our little tank baby's all grown up, huh? Apparently he'll be on his feet and killing again in no time. Well, he learned from the best, Commander. Every time he incinerates someone with a shotgun and does that little laugh, he'll think of you. Edie says it was Rachni down there? Yeah. I thought they were on our side after you saved the Queen on Novaria. It wasn't her fault. She got captured. She's with us now. <laughs> Until the next time the Reapers sing a sour yellow note of whatever. Commander? Shepard, I had a question about human behavior. Why is it you never have questions about Asari behavior or Turian behavior? I tried asking Liara questions about the Asari bonding process. She said I do not guard the secrets of the Normandy's crew carefully enough for her to entrust me with such private information. The Asari word she used translates as blabbermouth. I think she has become a more private person since becoming the Shadow Broker. Yeah, tell me about it. Hello, Shepard. Munitions you carry into the field deserve at least a triple check. Everything is in order.
Rachni? Of all the things that... It's like you got the opposite of a horseshoe up your ass. Grunt is crazier than you, and that's saying something. You're better looking, at least. Hey. Hey there. a story that's as classified as it gets i suppose it would cause a panic but wouldn't the news drive up recruiting it might also piss off a krogan with diplomatic immunity no thanks commander expect to face the Rachni in this cycle, but I am not surprised. You said you used them as weapons? Biological proxies. It was before I was born, but every Prothean had heard the stories. When we knew of them, the Rachni spent their lives singing thoughts to each other. But our scientists were more interested in their biology. The Rachni were well suited to harsh conditions. So we bred them for violence, selecting the most cunning and warlike of the queens. Then we unleashed them upon our enemies. For a time, it worked. Until they became too cunning and warlike and turned on us. We put them down before they could develop any further. We thought they had been exterminated. Yet it seems our experiment evolved into this cycle's nemesis. There was no such thing as trusting the Arachni in our cycle. They were animals. But if they will fight the Reapers now, so be it. I am glad I met the Grunt Krogan. Living in his quarters, I have come to know him better. He will fight the Reapers with great ferocity. I would prefer to be alone. Something else, Commander? Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. Shepard, Eve ready for travel to Tuchanka. Nice talking with you, Warden. We'll be here if you need me. Continuing to study Shroud in meantime. found any new engineers for the Crucible Glyph? Five Exonax Industries scientists who attempted to reverse engineer Prothean technology stolen from planet Garvuk. They are technically still wanted by the Council for hiding Prothean technology. As well, Sonax's part in instigating an illegal war on Garvuk. I'm sure the Council will forgive that for helping with the Crucible. Extend those scientists amnesty and an invitation. Right away. The Krogan are gearing up for a full-scale war. It's nearly indistinguishable from how they normally operate on Tachanka, really. Hello again.
Enjoy your day. Wasn't the first time we've faced Ragni. Really? You've seen them before? A few years back, on Novaria, Saren and his minions were trying to extract information from the Ragni Queen. You saw the Queen? Hell, we spoke to her. You spoke? I can't imagine that. The things you've done, sir, they're amazing. Well, it didn't seem that way at the time. Mostly, you're just clawing your way out of one mess and into another, hoping your ass comes along for the ride. Just one word, Shepard. Grunt. There'll be a lot more dead Reapers now. Siding with the giant spiders again, huh, Shepard? Let's hope this finally pays off. Most people have never even seen Arachni. The Normandy? We're a regular safari tour. If I never see another spider again, I'll die a contented Turian. Unless they have spiders in the afterlife. Damn. How's it going? You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. <laughs> 